Hello everybody, welcome back to more Paper Mario 64 in the last episode. I mean with your host Koopa, in the last episode we went here to Gusty Gulch trying to see what we can do here for the booze. And in this episode we're going to continue on in Gusty Gulch trying to find the Tubble Bubba's castle. Oh hello, boo I guess. Poor effort, sorry I had a weird dream last night and this dream voice said sometimes you must turn right and run away. You must run and run until you reach the tower with a spinning vein. Something like that. Something like that, anyway. What could it mean? That'll be important later. My friend escaped from Tubble Bulba's castle. He claims that Tubble Bulba hides something incredibly important right next to his bed. I wonder what it could be. Hello there. You're gonna beat up Tubble Bulba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never eat another ghost. Never. Especially not. Oh no! Uh, Tubble Bulba's coming. Everybody hide. Lady Bo, you must have to hide Mario. You, switch with me. Mario, we have to hide. Use my power immediately. Press C down. Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope, there's no way Double Bubble can see you right now. <laughs> er. Oh! Mmm, looks yummy. I needed a snack. What? Oh, a little tangy, but good. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, there's a new item up there, but there's a new enemy over here, so... Good old Goombadio is gonna help us with this! Boom! Okay, no damage, but it was such a satisfying first strike that I don't care. This is a hyper cleft. Hyper clefts have more defense and power than usual than normal clefts. Max HP is four, attack power is three, defense power three. Yeah, only one damage each attack with our hammer. Unless we use, of course, speed on pound. They sometimes charge their attack before their power before attacking. That charge attack will take away eight HP, so watch out when we start go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much standard cleft fare. If you can't, if you don't have D down pound, flip them over with an explosion or a power block. It's standard stuff at this point. But we have D down pound, so they're really easy. D down pound. Later in the game, you also get another badge called D down jump, which does the same thing, but with your jump attack, so. Actually, we don't need to fly over there. What the hell am I doing? We need Cooper. We got Dizzy Dial. Um, I don't know if we've used the attack like that before. Um, I believe those are all the new enemies, so we can switch back to Bo. Okay. Let's... All right, so here we're, off, here we're gonna show off Bo's attack, I guess. Um, I believe non-upgraded, she does at least four HP. You have to push the control stick left repeatedly, like It's really hard to do with an actual N64 stick. I'm using a, well, I'm using an official controller, but it was, it has a separate stick, which does not feel like the original, no oh, crap, okay. Uh, let's see, this is where it could get dangerous. So this is where I don't mind using out of sight with Bo. However, Bo cannot attack next turn for reasons that are quite obvious. No. The timings are also different since they don't walk, they don't do their normal attack animation. They don't walk up to you, then head bonk you. They instead just jump from when they're standing and go straight for you. So don't let that throw off your timing. Yeah, see, they don't do that normal um, attacking pattern. They instead uh, do a separate one, which you just saw, so no need to explain it. There we go. Okay, now let's continue on. Uh, ooh, Repel Gel. We got one of those in uh, a couple episodes ago. Basically, bow's out of sight, except you don't use a partner move. You instead use an item, and it lasts for more than one turn. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do. Okay, D down pound, you are such a godsend. Oh, wow. There we go. That's how you do it. And just to take, take care of them quickly, why not just power jump this guy out of this world? And out of sight, of course. Interestingly enough, I didn't mention this in the last episode and increased coins. Um, I didn't mention this in the last episode, but you saw that we got the super hammer before the super boots in this game. It's kind of interesting to me that in this game it's that it's in that order, but in Thousand Year Door you get the boots upgrade first and the hammer upgrade. We're gonna get um, something later on in the game called an ultra hammer before the ultra boots, and in Thousand Year Door that's also flipped around. Okay. <laughs> Um, now would be a good time to show off the dizzy dial. All of them. Nice. Now, as I was saying, however, um, I was saying that, um, in Thousand Year Door, that is also flipped where you get the Ultra Boots before the Ultra Hammer. I don't know why they did it like that, but, I don't know, it always seemed kind of interesting to me that you get the hammer upgrade in this game first and then the boot upgrade and thousand year doors crap well i don't want to do this but also the paragoombas look really funny when they're dazed <laughs> okay let's actually do their attack right thank you And not attacked a single time. Nice. Eight star points. Okay. And we made up some of our FP back and also some of our HP. Okay, go up here. Actually, go this way. No, I don't want to fight you. Actually, no, I was wrong. Thought there was a sh uh, super shroom there, but fortunately not. Oh, actually, didn't show that off. If you act, if you uh, spin jump on an enemy, you do more damage entering a battle, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Because, oh, yeah, you just do more damage entering a battle with that jump, and he's gonna charge up. And why not? Let's try and show off the timing for their charged attacks. Crap. There we go. Up. Oh, crap. Missed it. Well. I keep missing his tiny kind of power carry attack, but I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah, yeah, the attack animations are different, so the timing is different. Just keep that in mind, you should be fine. Okay, let's go here. That's where the super shroom is. Um, we shouldn't... No, 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 get away from me. We'll go behind here to get a star piece. Okay, here we go. Tubble Bubba's castle. We're going to want to take Lady Bo here out because we're going to need her to go through the castle. Now, these things, I'm, you never fight them. If they catch you, you are thrown back to the entrance of the castle. 
So don't let them catch you. But you never fight them, so I don't know if they're if they have an official name or not. I don't think they do. Whoa! <laughs> Going through the door saved me. That's kind of funny. Okay. Yeah. Um. So remember that boo over there in the town that told us um. If you walk slowly, you can get by. Um people sleeping without waking them up well you're gonna want to use that on these clubbas though however yeah um i believe they okay yeah they do not they do not count as a spike in this game in super paper mario they do count as a spike but that's not until later this is a club of clubbas are the main guards of Tolo's castle max hp it, max HP is 8, attack power is 3, defense power is 0. They often sleep on the job. If you walk away slowly, they won't wake up. They may look big, but if you use action commands perfectly, they're not so tough. Um, they are also very susceptible to sleep. Crap. Oh, shoot. I just realized how low on health I am. Good. Okay. Time to kill. Efficiently. Please, no! Crap. Okay. I'm going to be hit into peril if I don't block this. Okay, good. Okay, we need to heal. We need to heal. Okay, well, that's not what I meant exactly by healing. Why not? Let's use the Wackus Bump. This game is not that hard, so I don't really see myself needing to use that later on. Do, 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 do. Um, power smash, why not? Oh, really? Okay. You see what I mean when that never comes up when you need it? It's only when you don't. I mean, come on. With the regular power smash, that would have been taken care of very easily, and I would have not needed that at all. I mean, come on. Uh, anyways, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. That's the timing on their attack. The only attack they have. They don't really have another. They don't have another one. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, there we go. These guys are very easy to gain to gain experience off of them because they're very susceptible to sleep as well. I believe I've mentioned that. So if you have a sleep move or um, you, well, you would have lullaby by this point in the game. So yeah, use that on them. They're almost always guaranteed to go to sleep. So whoa, nice. So yeah, if there's a group of three or more, just use Lullaby, they should go to sleep, or any other sleep move that they're susceptible to. I don't think they're susceptible to getting dizzy, I think it's only sleep, so... Yeah. Okay, there's a star piece up there. Okay, took care of that guy fairly easily. Not too bad at all. And we've got 64 star points, and we got a super stream. Nice. Okay. Um, actually, what's in the other room? I gotta check. Oh, actually, there's not. Huh. What's in here? Another downstairs room. Let's go in here first. Because this place is littered with secrets, so you're going to want to check out what they're going to be. Oh, no! Okay, took care of him, took care of him as well. And going to take care of you! 
Okay, took care of him as well. Just taking care of all the enemies and getting so many coins for it. Wow. Get in here. Get this. And we got a castle key. Nice. And a heal block. Good. What do you got to say? Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try and find Bubble, Pebble Bubble's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Pebble Bubble's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, then keep going until you find his room. You haven't run into Pebble Bubble? Don't. I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible. Really? Until you find out his secret weakness, you'd better just run away. You got that? Gotcha. And upgrade block. We're going to give something to Paracarry here. So with upgraded Paracarry, standard fair, he has one more attack po he has one more attack power, but he also has a new ability called Airlift. Airlift will carry an enemy away from the battle. Weaker enemies are more easily carried away. So, yeah. You have to mash A, I believe, to get it successfully to be carried away. So it's pretty useful, and of course we want to use Bow for that guy so he doesn't spot us. And go this way, and that's where the other doors would have led us to, so yeah. Now what we want to do is go to the other side of the room where, th where all the big, uh, where, yeah, this, bleh, the main room. We want to go to the other side of the main room because there's a... Another door over there, but it was locked, but now that we have the castle key, it's not locked to us anymore. That's what I was trying to say. And here we go. Open the door. I said open the door. Open the door. Thank you. There we go. And... Okay, I didn't first strike him. Okay, so yeah, if there's more than three... Just use lullaby. All of them will go to sleep, and they will be knocked out for four turns instead of three, which uh, is a good thing, because they're usually knocked out for only... <sighs> what a waste of that be. I was saying they're usually only knocked out for three turns with Lullaby, but they have a plus one turn modifier because... They're clubbers. They're always sleeping on the job. There we go. <laughs> I like how these are... Oh, wow, I mistimed that, really? Hmm. I like how these are called clubbers, yet they're based off of the spike enemies from Mario 3. Okay, we made up. We made back our FP. Good. And you get another clubba. And an increased coin spell. I've been getting a lot of those lately. Wow. Oh, so many coins. So many coins. And so many enemies as well. Up. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Yeah. That's the time to use Lullaby. What a time to use Lullaby. La, 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 la. Imagine not waking up by being slapped in your sleep. I mean, come on. How he Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to- <sighs> Did not mean to, mm-hmm, did not mean to focus, I meant to attack. I was mashing A too fast. Crap, okay, let's, uh, let's not dawdle around here anymore. <sighs> okay. Actually, what would be more efficient is, is if we attacked this guy. 
with Mario and the other one with Bo, and then finish each of them off which with the respective ones. And they wake up, but they can't move because they just woke up. So, bye bye. And kill the other one with Bo because we did just enough damage. Okay, good. Okay, good. It's so close to a level up. Oh, oh, no. Okay, yeah, don't let these guys touch you because if they do, you're going back to the entrance of the, of the castle and you do not want to do that when you're this far up it. Okay. Uh, let's fight one more guy before ending this episode off. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Quick and easy battle just for a level up. Four star points. Level up, level up, level up, level up. Yes, we got to level up. Okay, here we go. Now, let's uh, equip some badges now that we have more BP. Uh, you could equip one of these, but I really don't use the plus badges. Let's equip a uh, close call back. Um... We're not going to be facing many enemies with spikes anymore, so spike shield is utterly useless for the rest of the game. Well, actually, no. Chapter 8, it could get some use. That's not until Chapter 8, of course. Um, Hammer throw has an interesting use later on in the game, but for now, it's not really that useful, I guess. Train stomp and power jump. We still haven't shown off the uh, uh, shrink stomp, and I do want to uh, show that. Anyways, um, I guess that calls it for this episode. Next time on Paper Mario, we're going to continue exploring Cubble Bubba's Castle. See you guys next time.